Welcome to the Phone Arena video review of the Samsung Smiley. Once we get past the odd name, which actually isn't a name, it's just this symbol here, we find a pretty decent low-end phone. It doesn't offer much in the way of specifications. Its biggest features include a 1.3 megapixel camera, microSD expansion, and Bluetooth. It features a full QWERTY keyboard, obviously with a portrait sliding design. The keyboard is quite pleasant to use, despite the smaller size. We were quickly typing accurately and fast with this device. Like on the Samsung Reclaim, the spacebar is a little bit small, but it wasn't much of an issue for us. There's very good feedback on the keys, and when we press them, there's a nice click. There's an odd color choice here. As you can see, the phone is black, but the keypad, as well as the back of the phone, is blue. These two colors don't traditionally go too well together, and while it's a very dark shade of blue, it still looks a bit different for the on the smiley. The red accents are nice, however, as found on the directional pad, the volume rocker, and the speaker vent. The build quality is very solid on the smiley. This is something we've come to expect from Samsung, but it's still nice to see it even on their low-end devices. The slide is very reassuring. It is spring-assisted and takes a little bit of a push to get it to go there, but after that it slides quite smoothly. We don't foresee any issue with the slide holding up for the life of the phone. The menu for the Samsung Smiley is very familiar and something we've seen as recently as the Gravity 3. There's nothing much to say here. You can either have this carousel design or there's a grid view as well. It's quite quick, which is nice to see. There's almost no menu leg present. It does offer the Social Buzz app that we saw on the Gravity 3 as well, which is an aggregate of Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, and lets the user view everything pretty much in one spot. There's not really much to say about the Smiley in terms of software. It doesn't do anything special, but then again, it doesn't really set out to. Our biggest issue with the Smiley was call quality. Users said we found sounded very garbled. On our end, they were decent, but a little distant. Neither of those prevented us from actually hearing the other person, or vice versa, and we could qu carry on a conversation just fine. The Smiley is obviously geared more towards messaging, with the slide-out QWERTY keyboard, and geared towards the younger crowd. We think it would make a fine addition as an add -a phone to any family plan, but isn't something the higher end or a little bit older user would probably pick up.